So here we are in the beautiful village of Turville, which has been used on countless film and TV shots, including Miss Marple, Midsummer Murders, but probably is most famous for the Vicar of Dibley and the Windmill on the Hill from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. But today I'm here to find out more about the sleeping girl of Turville, Ellen Chandler. As we approach this cottage here, this is Sleepy Cottage. This is the actual cottage where Ellen Chandler lived and spent her sleeping time. But it is also the cottage from the TV series, The Vicar of Dibley, which it may look familiar as you can see it. And the church. So this is the churchyard of Turville. Who even though quite a withdrawn child who didn't really mix with the childish games of her siblings was pretty normal until she went to work for a family as a maid at the age of 11. Her general listlessness ended with her being returned to her family where she complained about severe headaches eventually being diagnosed with an abscess of the head. She was to spend 17 weeks in the hospital in Reading. Feeling slightly better, she went home. Two days later, she would fall asleep. Dr. Heyman from nearby Stoken Church rushed in his pony and trapped to Turville, but by the time he arrived, she could not be roused. She then became known as one of the most astounding, inexplicable, physiological phenomena, try saying that without your teeth in, ever known by the Times newspaper of the day. Medical men were baffled as they saw this young girl sleeping soundly, but unable to be woken, even when they sneakily pricked her with needles. She became famous and people flocked to see her leaving donations and taking a lock of Ellen's hair until supply could not be demand. People became suspicious and jealous of the two pounds, a hundred pounds in today's money, that Ellen's mother started collecting a week. And the rumors started that either Ellen was faking it or her mother was drugging her to keep her asleep. It was said even the Prince of Wales, the future Edward VII, visited her to lay hands on her. People of the day believing this could actually cure the afflicted. Now, according to her mother, Anne, the only nourishment she received was port wine mixed with sugar three times a day, administered through two small teapots in her teeth because her jaw had become fixed shut. Even though the suspicions persisted, no proof could be found and the years rolled on. And then in late May 1880, Ellen's mother died of a heart attack. Now on the right here is the Bull and Butcher pub, which is where the inquest to Ellen Chandler's mum, Anne, was held. Uh, so this is a very nice pub, beautiful. And uh, by all accounts, a very old pub. So yeah, welcome to the Bull and Butcher, which was, I got a plaque here from Midsummer Murders where it was a filming location, the Bull and Butcher Turville, the chalk and gown where the students of Devlington School meet in murder on St. Mallard's Day, the spotted cow, the last sighting of Oliver Ordish before his death in schooled in murder. And also there's one down here, went the day well from 1942 was filmed on location here in Turville, the fictional village of Bramley End. So that's interesting. And it was decided that her sister Elizabeth would take care of her. 
Amazingly, five months later, the sleeping girl of Turville awoke. She was 21 years old, but acted like a child and had no memory of the last nine years. She went to stay with an aunt while she adjusted to life and later married a farmer from Reading, left the area and later died in obscurity. Well, I appear to have found a new found friend. This cat seems to like me and has just pulled up and sat next to me. So, hello, new found friend. So I've been informed that my new friend that I've made this morning is called Basil. Two ladies on horses just came by and went, ooh, Basil, you found a new friend. And he has. And he's having a lovely time, but good for you, Basil. Well, I think I've found a friend for life here. I have yeah. to come here every weekend now to see Basil. Now, I'm not going to walk all the way up there, but up there on the hill, you can probably see the windmill from the film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Now, as I say, I'm not going to walk up there today because that isn't the story I've come about, but I just thought I'd give you a look the windmill from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Hi everybody, as you can see I'm back at home. Uh, I've just popped on here because when I was editing today's video I suddenly found out that of course the bit where I say thank you for watching this video, if you like it please give it a thumbs up and um, please like and subscribe and ring the little bell I had not pressed the record button for. So I've had to come on and just say that. Well, I do hope you enjoyed uh, listening to the story about the sleeping girl of Turville. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, which costs absolutely nothing. And please ding the little bell. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.